Welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, if you watched last week's tire repair video, I removed a massive rusty nail from the shoulder of my tire and plugged it. I thought I'd give an update that we took it in to be looked at the next day, and it indeed was not good to go long term. So we sold some pictures of Penny's feet on Instagram and got a new tire. Today's video is a continuation of the Wasp build where I'm putting on my final touches, bench testing it, and flying at the Bando to see how it all turned out. But before we do any of that, I noticed something about this flight controller. I realized something about this board that I really don't like, which is that it doesn't have an actual port for the video at all. Everything needs to be directly soldered to the top, um, which is a big contrast to the Fettec actual board because you could plug right into the top here um, for everything and it's a pretty clean setup but doing it this way is actually going to be really difficult in terms of fixing stuff in the future like i just don't like soldering to the board if i don't have to um so i guess i'm going to do the camera direct solder to the front here i'll do the vtx direct to the back here and maybe I'll try that first before I go through all the brain damage of doing this other BEC thing. Um, I might as well see how well this thing cleans the signal. Because if it cleans well, then I don't even need this, uh, this other BEC in the back. So let's try it. I have a feeling that I'm still going to need it. There's, I've never had a board that actually does a good job cleaning. Um, but I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. And now I'll get this build actually a lot further along, um, way faster than I thought. So I guess we'll just do it that way. No explosions, that's a good sign. Let's see if El Screeno can find a channel. Malt does that. Yeah, nothing, uh, radio-wise, nothing's gonna work. So I have to do a little configuration with that. Oh, we had something. Ha-ha! Oh, that actually looks pretty good. FC not activated. Oh, all right. So we'll have to activate, but that looks really good, actually. Um, yeah, so I'll have to get that going. But hey, it didn't blow up. Everything's pretty much fit together. I've got the video set up. It's not the way that I expected to do it, but it's fine. I'm excited to try these new motors. These are 1950 2307s. Um, these are the Ethic Stouts, the new ones. Figured I'd give them a shot because I, I like them. Uh, stacks in place. Everything's ready to go. Camera, all that stuff. I got 3D printed prints from PDB. Does beautiful work. Um, so I'm all set on that front. Uh, the only thing that I might need to do is change the VTX because it's been giving me some weird channel stuff. It's been like jumping to channel L5 instead of like R7. And usually that's a telltale sign that the thing's gonna die soon, but um, I don't really wanna put that much more money into this until I really need to. So I'm just gonna try this out and yeah, I'm gonna button this up and we're gonna hit the road and give it a shot. Do you, why don't you plug in? I can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My shit's on some crazy channel. I gotta change the VTX on it. Hey, mine's on E. Mine's not even on race day. Mine's on E. -C. Yeah, this shit, it changes. It's like F7 and... It's a Unified Pro. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I just bought two. I just wanna make sure it fucking flies. Yeah, I got, I'm gonna have to buy probably two or three for the fucking Rampage. 
Oh, actually, my shit's not even gonna fly. I gotta tighten these props. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna plug back in. Telemetry recovered. No, it wasn't the video. It, it like fell out of the sky. It was like it got. Um, there's like a bug in in the software where like if you hit something really hard, it makes this like flutter sound and it falls. <laughs> can't recover so that it uh no they never fixed it it's like a really old issue hold on let me plug in real quick you see how much battery i have left plug it in six Well, that was fun. Two flights and I smoked a motor. Arguably got less than four minutes on the sticks, but hey, that's the way it goes. And unfortunately, I didn't have a spare motor with me to keep flying. Overall, the quad felt great on the stock tune. I liked the extra power from the motors and it sounded good, but obviously I need more time with it because that was kind of disappointing, to be honest. I need to figure out skids that don't weigh a metric ton because right now I'm rocking foam on the bottom with aluminum screws to save weight. Uh, I initially put it together using steel screws and skids from the Apex, uh, but the quad weighed in at like 660 grams, which is a lot heavier than I want. And right now we're coming in at around 634, um, but I would love to get that weight down if I can. I also need to order up some spare motors, VTXs, antennas, and I want to take the day to tune it, but unfortunately I can't really do that until I figure out if I want to add the skids or not, so I'm still undecided on that. And with that said, if anyone has an idea for a skid design that comes out lighter than the Apex, please let me know in the comments. I believe they come in at around 3 grams each motor, uh, but... I would love to get them a little lighter if that's possible because not only am I currently using aluminum screws and the foam wedge, but when you switch to the skids, you're really supposed to use a steel screw with the skids, so that adds an extra couple grams as well. So if I could get everything lower, that would be awesome. And that's going to do it for this one. If you stuck around, thanks. I'll catch you guys very soon. We've got some freestyle videos coming out. I've got some other how-to videos coming out. And soon enough, Rampage is right around the corner. So we're going to have some really awesome videos for that. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next one. Peace.